good morning dear students today we will learn standard 9 algebra today in this video we will learn how to solve the examples of practice set 7.4 before starting the practice set 7.4 let's see children what is the meaning of cumulative frequency okay children there are two types of cumulative frequency distributions okay children how many type cumulative frequencies are there two types first one is children less than type frequency okay in that children what we will do add the frequencies okay we have to add the frequencies second one is more than or equal to type frequency in this type children we have to subtract the frequencies okay there are total two types of frequencies first one is children less than type frequency and second one is more than or equal to type frequency okay children now let's begin practice set 7.4 question number 1 okay children complete the following cumulative frequency table here children the first column is class okay height in centimeter it is given second column is frequency number of students is given children here we have to find out less than type frequency less than type mean children what we have to do we have to add the frequencies okay children so here what we will do we add the frequencies okay the first column height in centimeter is given children 150 153 okay this way it is given up to the 165 to 168 second column frequency number of students first one children 5 second 7 15 10 5 3 total frequency what is the children 45 so total how many students are there 45 students okay now here children in third column less than type frequency first frequency we keep as it is children 5 5 we keep same in the second column children what we will do 5 plus 7 okay here we add the two frequencies first and second okay here we got 12 now this 12 we take in the third line children okay and we add 15 okay 12 plus 15 equal to 27 okay now this 27 okay we bring to the next line and we add 10 children okay 27 plus 10 equal to 37 again this 37 bring we bring to the next line we add children 5 37 plus 5 equal to 42 now this 42 we bring to the next line plus what we will do children 3 42 plus 3 equal to 45 here children 45 and frequency total what it is 45 both should be match children then your sum is right okay see the frequency total what is there 45 and here less than type frequency after adding all the frequencies what we got children at the end 45 so both should be match okay now move to the next one complete the following cumulative frequency table first column is children class monthly income in rupees it is given children okay in the question next column is frequency number of individuals okay now third is children more than or equal to type cumulative frequency more than or equal to type cumulative frequency what we have to do children add or subtract yes we have to subtract the frequencies okay what we will do here we subtract the frequencies okay now first column it is given children monthly income in rupees okay 1000 to 5000 5000 to 10000 10 to 15 15 to 20000 20 to 25000 okay these are the grouped children now frequency number of individuals okay 45 19 16 2 5 and the total of frequency 87 
children listen in more than type what we will do children the total of frequency 87 we bring to the top children means first line we write 87 87 okay children total of the frequency we have to take to the first line that is a 87 now 87 minus what is our first frequency children 45 so 87 minus 45 equal to 42 now this 42 we have to take down to children to next line minus 19 we get 23 now 23 take to the next line 23 minus 16 equal to 7 okay children now 7 minus 2 we get children 5 here children you see the frequency column last what is there 5 right and here you see what is that their last 5 so both should be match children both should be equal then your sum is right children okay now question number 3 the data is given for 62 students in a certain class regarding their mathematic marks out of 100. Take the classes 0 to 10, 10 to 20 and prepare frequency distribution table and cumulative frequency table more than or equal to type. Here children data is given about 62 students and classes is given children 0 to 10, 10 to 20. Okay. Now we make the first column class. Okay, now 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80, 80 to 90, 90 to 100. Okay, we have to see what is the maximum score. Okay, we have to see in the raw data. What is the maximum score children? 95 is there. So, that's why we have to take here children up to 100. Okay. Now next column frequency. Okay. Frequency means children repetition of the score. Okay. 0 to 10 in this group. Okay. How many students will come children? Let's see. How many students will come 0 to 10? You count. Okay. So we get 3. Now 10 to 20 group. How many students will come? 3. Okay. And next 20 to 30 in this group, 9 students will come. Next, 30 to 40, 9 students will come children. 40 to 50, okay. Uh, in that, 13 students will come children. 50 to 60, how many students? 6 students. 60 to 70, 5 students. 70 to 80, 6 students. And 80 to 60, 5. And the last children, 90 to 100. How many students? 3 students. Okay. We have to do the total of frequency. So, we get children 62. Over. This way we have to make children table. Okay. Frequency table. Now, we come to the third column that is cumulative frequency more than or equal to type. In the question number 1 and 2, I have explained children what is the less than type and more than type. In less than type, we have to add the frequencies. In more than type, we have to subtract the frequency. So, here we will add or subtract children. Tell me. Yeah, we will. What we will do children? Subtract the frequencies. Okay. So, what is the total of frequency children? 62. So, we take 62 in the first line. Okay. 62. Got it? Always children. In more than type. What is the total of frequency we have to take for the first line? Okay, now next, what we have to do now? 62 minus 3. 62 minus 3, we get children 59. In the next line, we take children 59 minus 3 equal to 56. Now next, 56 minus 9, we get children 47. 47 minus what we take children again 9 we get 38 now 38 minus 13 we get 25 okay now 25 minus 6 equal to 19 now 
नाइनटीन माइनस वट वी डू चिल्ड्रेन फाइव इक्वल टू फोर्टीन नाउ फोर्टीन माइनस सिक्स वी गेट एट एट माइनस फाइव वी गेट थ्री ओके चिल्ड्रेन ना दिस इज द लास्ट चिल्ड्रेन Here in the frequency column, what is the last number, children? Three. And here cumulative frequency, what is the last, children? Eight minus five equal to three. Both should be matched, children. Okay. Now, based on this table, there are few questions, children. We have to answer them. Okay. Now, here is the question number one, children. How many students obtain forty marks or above forty? Here, children, how you will find out the answer? You have to see class marks column forty to fifty. Okay, so there you see for this class forty to fifty, what is the cumulative frequency? Okay, you have to see more than type. That is the answer of this question. The number of students scoring forty or more than forty marks is thirty-eight. Okay, children. Now the second one. How many students obtain ninety marks or above ninety? Here, children, you see the class marks ninety to hundred. What is the cumulative frequency of this class, children? Tell me three. Okay, so the answer will be the number of students scoring ninety or more than ninety marks is three. Now the third one, how many students obtain sixty marks or above sixty? For this answer, children, sixty to seventy. Okay, class marks. What you will see, sixty to seventy. For this class mark, what is the cumulative frequency, children? Yeah, maybe nineteen children. Okay, so the answer will be the number of students scoring sixty or more than sixty marks is nineteen. Now the last question: What is the cumulative frequency more than or equal to type of the class zero to ten? What is the cumulative frequency, children, for this class group? What is the zero to ten? Sixty-two students. So the answer will be the cumulative frequency more than or equal to type of class zero to ten is sixty-two. Now, children, question number four. Practice yourself. Same like the question number three only, children. Okay.